Well, Philadelphia police, meantime, they're looking for a hit and run driver who struck a woman and two girls. The youngest victim was only three. This happened last night at North 50th Street and Haverford Avenue in West Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payu has more. That's right. We're told four people were crossing this intersection headed to that corner store when that hit and run happened. Three of them were injured, one of them critically. How would you just hit somebody and run? Why not stop? Call the cops. Help out. Like, please do that. A hit and run driver wreaked havoc in West Philadelphia, leaving behind a trail of disbelief and heartache. Her leg, she, from here down, is lost. She just lost her mother and father a year and a half ago. I mean, it's crazy. Eugene Stokes says his niece was one of the three people hit as they were approaching the corner of 50th and Haverford Avenue before 10 o'clock Monday night. Surveillance video captured the driver speeding down a one way before impact. The vehicle actually jumped the curb, hit a fire hydrant with such force it knocked this metal fire hydrant off of its base. I heard that if somebody that was in a shooting came speeding, Somewhere from that way. Police did not confirm the shooting, but loved ones identified Zarina Grisby as one of the victims. They say the 29 year old was crossing the street with her son and two nieces, ages 3 and 13. Her older sister says the children came rushing home. They was running and blood all over her face, and I caught her at the door and I said, What's wrong? She said, Mom, we got hit by a car. The girls received only minor bruises while Zarina was seriously injured. Philadelphia police say this hit and run is one of 596 so far in 2022, 41 so far this month. Very emotional. Hurt. It's just. It's terrible, that's all. Relatives say doctors were able to save the victim's leg. Anyone with information on this is asked to contact police. In West Philadelphia, Jasmine Payu, TBS3 Eyewitness News.